Hey friends, welcome back. Today, as you can see by the title of this video, I'm gonna be making a basic marinara sauce. You can use this for lots of things, pizza, pasta, like garlic bread. It's just a basic sauce. It's also delightful. I'm making this video today because my next video, subscribe so you don't miss my next video, I'm gonna be making my favorite pizza. It's freaking delicious and it's a pizza that I've not seen anywhere. Like I've never seen somebody put some of the things I'm gonna be putting on this pizza at other places. So hit that subscribe button. All right, let's just jump right in. So first off, I got my olive oil and I'm gonna do quite a bit, like two tablespoons worth of olive oil in the pan. And I'm gonna have this on a low heat because we're gonna cook garlic and you know me, I say this all the time, you do not want to burn garlic. I have four cloves of minced garlic. I love garlic. If you don't like garlic as much, I would probably do like three, two to three cloves, but I love some garlic. So I do four. Sometimes I'll do like six if I'm feeling crazy, but these are pretty big garlic cloves. So I only did four. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna coat them in the olive oil and get all off here. Sorry for this loud noise. All right. Garlic. Oh, that's hot. Okay. And then I have red. Well, is it red? What well, kind of red? Chili flakes. Red pepper flakes. Throw that in there and we're gonna leave it like that and cook the garlic until it's cooked. So however long it is, but don't burn the garlic. Don't do it. I'm actually gonna add a touch more olive oil. You want it to like coat the bottom of the pan basically. Okay, the garlic is nice and cooked and now I have a 28 ounce, one pound can of pureed tomatoes and I'm just going to pour it right in there instead of the puree you could always if you like San Marzano tomatoes better you could always buy the can of whole San Marzano tomatoes and you like you know crush them up and put them in the pan and then it gives it a more like balanced watery texture. This is going to simmer for a while, so it's already like thick. So I'm going to add a little bit of water into the can and it also gets out the rest of the tomatoes, just a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to do some slushing around here because this is going to have to simmer for a while and if it's so thick already, it doesn't really simmer right because it's too thick. So I'm going to pour that in there and that was only like a fourth of a cup I added to it. All right, now I'm gonna add a couple grinds of pepper. And then I have salt. I'm gonna add some salt. I wanna say that's like half a teaspoon, but I never measure. I just go by like instinct. Like you feel it in your hand and you pour it in there. I will start with a little if you're unsure. Let it simmer, taste it, and if it tastes not good like you can't tell what's wrong with it this is the thing if you try something and you're not saying oh my god that's so salty but you can't tell what's wrong with it and you can't put your finger on it it's usually not enough salt so add a little salt it makes things like the flavors enhance and come alive all right and then sugar i know a lot of people are like why are you putting sugar in there sugar's good man I'm telling you, they add it to lots of pizza sauces, and I'm adding it today. If you don't want to add sugar, another way to make it sweet without adding sugar, sometimes I'll like 
grate or like mince a carrot and put it in here. And the sweetness of the carrot makes the sauce sweeter. Also it gives you extra vegetables. So I do that for my kid a lot. But anyways, now I have some, oh, and the sugar, that was probably like, hold on baby, a fourth of a teaspoon. And then I have some oregano and I'm gonna do a heaping pinch of oregano, two heaping pinches of oregano. I hardly ever measure anything when I've made it a million times like this. And then I also have a heaping pinch of basil. And I'm just gonna do one of those because the pizza I'm making tomorrow is not very Italian. It's more, I'm just gonna let you in on the secret. I was gonna wait to say anything. It's kind of like a Cajun pizza. It's so good. It's so freaking good. So hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it tomorrow. Well, I might not post it tomorrow, obviously, but I'm making it for my next video. So I plan on make, making it tomorrow, but you know, you never know what happens. Today I was gonna make it, but I had to get the Culligan guy out here to change my water filter. So I can't use my water. So I can't really like make pizza dough right now because I need the filtered water, but I have to wait like four hours to like run through the new filter a couple times. So yeah, that's why I'm just making the sauce video. I'm trying to make some lemonade out of lemons here. And we're just gonna stir this around and let it simmer for like a half an hour. Now, if I was making an Italian style pizza for my next video, I would add a Parmesan rind. So like if you buy real parm, there's a rind on it, a hard rind. You save those rinds. Some people throw them away, amateurs. Save the rinds and put them in the sauce and like some of the cheese melts in there and mm, delicious. So we're just gonna let this simmer for a half an hour and the marinara sauce is pretty much done. So see how quick and easy that was? Love it. All right, hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for staying tuned and watching and I will see you in my next video for delicious pizza.